Radiant Team Ban. On, anticipating the quills will be coming out and she can build up some charges to fall back on, but it ain't gonna be easy. And we look at top lane here. Guanzo baits in clockwork, suddenly Fluff shows up. He still bounces to the low ground, but could get with the balls. Can he connect with the spirits? Is it enough? Oh. It is. Holy spins! Flying out the end there. Thank goodness. Down first, benefits from a bit of extra XP. Fluff himself does get some XP, so he can get to that level six a bit a bit faster. Does get a room here at the top, and they might oh, make top a go on the Poner. Here comes the tether. Actually, Wait, it got canceled. Wait, it hit the cogs. So oh, yeah. now the spirits come out, and they still get the kill regardless. So he just gives them a little bit of that love, love tether. Didn't have his oh. urn. I thought he had an urn or something. Where, where's his? Oh, Vengeful's in tough. But Vengeful's dead. Tries to turn back. Pops out the wand. Maybe they get a kill on Jason in return. Uh oh, Luna. Can they? Can Jason dodge? Okay, double step. Bad step into the corner. Oh, oh they got it. Goodness. Oh, oh, rocket from above. What a connection from Clockwork on the <laughs> other side. Shent. So their healer is out. The paramedic will be there, but he does buy. Offers the hand of God. They do get TC on the exchange. It ends up being a two for two, and they're committing for the dive. They want monkeys. The urn brings them low, but Fluff tethers them up and heals himself, and they get Fluff down. Fly back from Monkey's TC. Here he comes, clobbering away, but Monkeys forever just got silenced. He took him down. Vengeance able to TP away, and TC has a wasted buyback, but Jason is here. He's going to go down. Are they going to send back? He has a chin heal. Chin back. Chin send back. Do something. Send back. There he is. No mechanism, but the one oh, is going to be able to get out so easy. And he's going to walk himself into a call, plus the relocate. That takes about four feet over the other way. The cogs bounce him back oh, into a coil. Set up from 747, an immediate hook shot, and they take down Fluff. Here comes the Eclipse. They'll get monkeys down as well. A double kill for the Luna. Could be a triple with a lucid beam. Got it. Triple kill for the Mysterious. Ooh. What do you think about it? He Gonna try to walk him down, but he will be the one that goes. Dominating double kill, and that is it. Root Gaming have had enough, and it is gonna be Void Boys who even the series up, and we are going to a game three. Game three hype. Ooh, that was a really well. Very bad position from the start of the game, and then all of a sudden, Void Boys get too antsy, or Root Gaming get too antsy, and you know they jump the gun play way aggressive when they didn't have um, all their items up. They didn't have TC with his early vanguard. And Tiny, you know, they re relocated in. But they kept feeding and feeding and feeding uh, for the early game. So it just allowed Void Boys to just take these Roshans, take the objectives around the map. And 747 was an absolute monster with Omega on these initiate heroes. So you can understand why they like playing these uh, one, uh, four protect one strategies they like creating enough space for their carry where they can just go around the map and get kills everywhere so it worked out this game really well played for me it wasn't looking good but after the 10 minute mark i think it was all void boys you know maybe a lesson learned for root even if you get that small early game advantage you got to remember they had a 4k boost at about eight minutes in and then they were just like we got this and they just kind of played very aggressive. They were punished for yep. it, and Void Boys did not let up when they took the advantage right back. So props to them to get this series square. And now we're going to be going to Game 3. So that action is going to be coming up in just a few moments. This is Beyond the Summit bringing you the English coverage. I'm Kyle Guy, and that's Ryu Boris. We'll be back in just a few moments for Game 3 of Void Boys taking on Rude Gaming.